Yo, what's going on with your YouTube drum and Chris here? We're coming back at y'all with another vid and we have a retail W and we did do a little bit of cash out about these things. Uh, and then we'll have a discussion about that real quick. But first things first, we need to talk about Nike shock drop for these Valentine's Dunk Lows that's going on. Uh, that happened today. It was an actual shock drop. I appreciate the shock drop because I think a lot of people want this with this whole scratch and sniff type of deal. So if you were to go on the sneakers app and it just, I think these things released around noontime today. You were able to get a little early, early. And what in order you had to do is you had to do a little scratch on the screen on the bombs here. And it had like a little, the you know, the vending machine, the claw. So where you pick out. So if you scratch right here in the middle, you were able to get access to the dunks. Now, the problem was, and I think a lot of people fell into this problem as well. At first, when I was when I first saw the notifications, by the way, make sure you guys you might want to um, follow Sneaker Twitter on Twitter and have the notifications on because that's how I found out. Or follow me on my IG because as soon as I found out, I posted on my IG as well. But anyways, I scratched it, and at first I, I went down on here, scroll down, and. It was blank, I couldn't scratch it. I didn't know what the heck was going on. So I reset the, the sneakers app, went back in it. Now I was able to come through, I was able to get through it. And it came out with a little claw that came out with a little, had a little video right here like this. And it came out like the whole Valentine's Day popped up. I tried to enter in and of course, I wasn't able to check out. And I think a lot of people had problems at first. I didn't think Nike, I don't know what happened. Something, maybe they released a shock drop a little too early or the app wasn't at working right or something. Or maybe with some type of bot protection. Who knows? I mean, it could be a test, you know, run for upcoming restocks on something later in the future. Nah, but that, who, who knows? And then I kept trying, trying. I kept getting this, sorry, this error has occurred. Please try again. I kept getting on that screen for a good, like, couple minutes I'm not gonna lie I, I just kept it just wouldn't get through I basically almost gave up I put my phone away and then I saw on uh, sneaker Twitter that's like hey try now and I think I got a W I, I didn't get like a got on the screen or something but I did get this which was really weird I got the expired offer when I was trying to input all my information offered expired so i thought i took an l i was kind of like man this is crap man nike sucks but when i got back on the nike app it says purchase right there and i even got the email and everything so i guess my order went through i i guess i don't know i have to wait and see like i said hey until it ships and it you know gets to my door then i'll say it's a w so i guess i got a w it looks like a lot of people end up getting w's so shout out to everyone is this one way to fight against bots you know because i feel like this was an actual type of shock drop was an actual shock drop even though i felt like you know <sighs> nike kind of dropped the ball on this one again because you know it wasn't that smooth but then again wooden releases are ever smooth especially these past few releases especially when it's a nike dunk i'm, I'm sounding like i'm complaining even though I, I you know i think i got a w but i wish it would have went a lot smoother i think a lot of people ran through that problem too as well i think a lot of people just kind of tried it for the first 20 minutes and then they gave up and had to go back to work or go back to their you know life and you know a lot of people they can't just keep continuing to look at their phone all the whole freaking time so i just wish things would be a lot smoother and i hope nike can kind of fix that for next upcoming weeks and stuff like that so hey either way i'm happy to get a w and congrats to everyone that got w's as well let's hope that future shock drops and stuff like that are a little bit more smoother and how you guys like about this whole scratch the screen and sniff or whatever Hey, I don't mind it. I remember they used to do it all the time back in like 2016, 17 and stuff like that for like the win night, win like 96 to Jordan 11s. And they also did it on the couple other releases as well. So, hey, it's all good. A big shout out to my guy, Heat for your feet, man. If you guys know, we've done plenty of business together. And he sent over some merch and wow, freaking law. Heat, Mr. Heat for your feet. Hey, what is this here? A skeleton, heat for your feet, got the AJ1, it's pretty chill man, so hey, check out my guy, Mr. Heat for your feet man, I appreciate you, thank you for the love man and the support and all the business we've done together man, always gotta show support, right? To get into that, I know there's been like, like the past few weeks we were supposed to get like some crazy rumors, like some banger restocks was supposed to happen, but obviously it hasn't happened yet, or will it ever, who knows, but you, we know for sure that at least 
these are gonna restock at least once a month i want to say <laughs> running joke right like these things continuously always restock and i actually did get a retail w on the wifey's account so wifey's account is still goaded here it is was only able to get a gs size this time they came out this week was of course they got the highs the lows women's men's and gs sizes right and again i know you guys are probably don't care about talking about these things because it's a pan and dunk it's basically becoming a meme to be honest i mean everyone has them everyone you know very basic it's becoming the white air force ones which i do agree but considering that i feel like this is the only thing that's kind of holding up the resale game right now like is has it come down to that <laughs> is it getting that bad now i got another package i got this from my guy over on tiktok hey i do have a tiktok channel so you guys want to follow me on jumperman chris on tiktok i've been posting a lot lately you know i've been trying to get on that tiktok thing but anyway shout out to man jack boy mike i want to say so if you want to follow him on he has like tiktok some of his tiktok is blowing up too as well so anyways appreciate you bruh All right, here it is. Got some more red boxes, and we got bigger sizes this time because I mainly want to get bigger sizes, not too many like smaller sizes. They're not really going for much compared to like, you know, if they are going for like, say you got them for like retail, and you know, it's not much profit to be made. But anyways, um, these are bigger sizes pandas. Like I said, I'm saying is is should you be investing in pandas? Absolutely not. Do not invest in pandas. Pandas will be dropping, I, I want to say at least once a month, uh, for now, from here on out, I believe so. And not only that, I think the wave of pan, of dunks, dunk lows, like regular Nike dunk lows, is gonna be on a downfall this year. Just watch. If you notice how a lot of recent new colorway of of Nike dunk lows, not like SBs or anything like that, there are certain good dunk lows don't get me wrong like you know lotteries jackies of course and stuff like that but just regular random colorway dunks they don't go for that much i mean they're barely going for even like lunch money i mean they raise the price on dunks they're at like 110 like some of those dunk lows are probably going for like maybe at retail like i was barely selling them at events for like 10 20 bucks over retail to be honest like i just couldn't i just don't move regular dunks anymore i'm i'm not gonna invest in that much dunks pandas on the other hand i think we're in a small window because we just got done with holiday season i don't have a lot of inventory left i got a couple of shows coming up so i want to do you know i want to get something you know uh which is pandas is just you just can't really go wrong with pandas but but I think pretty soon in 2023, dare I say, will we ever see the Panda Dunks sitting or bricking out? So far, all year, I mean, remember when Panda Dunks were like three, 350 at one point? Exactly. Now that Nike's, now that Nike's restocking Pandas so much and they're restocking other Dunk Lows, like I think we're getting like, then we get Kentucky Dunks. They were doing, you know, they were doing crazy numbers and then they restocked. Now they're not doing so much crazy crazy numbers now uh we're getting some other colorways that's going to restock so dunk lows is i feel like are going to be on a downfall i think there's going to be this year is probably going to be the end of like dunk lows to be honest like you know obviously they're going to be some that's good but it's going to be like the air jordan ones like they're not going to go for much pretty much bricks um you might even see some dunk lows actually sitting dare i say because we know about dunk dunk lows is the only thing that's been kind of holding like you know the the resale game i mean at first last year slides phone runners and dunk lows were my best movers now i don't even know what is even going to be anymore like i honestly i'm probably going to be chilling out on reselling for a little bit like i'm still going to do some i'm just not going to do nearly as much as i did in the past few years you know i i think it's at the time now where it's like Hey, those days are over with, man. It's now it's no longer 2020 anymore. Hey, I might have to go get back my old job, right? <laughs> it, it, we're just in a different time now, you know. I hate to say this is the end of reselling. I mean, I think everything's gonna be selective, you know. As some people say, are we gonna be in a recession, stuff like that? Who knows, man? Honestly, um, I just, in my opinion, guys, I wouldn't be hanging on to a lot of shoes for a long time as of right now. I wouldn't be hanging on to a lot of things unless you know for sure in your gut feeling that you, you know, they're gonna go up and that's what you want to do. Cool. But me personally, me, I'm not gonna be hanging on to a lot of things. I'm just gonna be 
moving things casually, get rid of some inventory. I'm already pretty light on inventory. Um, you know, I don't, even, I don't think I even have enough stuff to even have a table, to be honest, you know? And I have a couple shows coming up in February. And plus this month of January has been really dry. It's been really slow. Not a lot of re uh, releases coming out. So it's kind of hard to believe, but I know that, like I said, this month has been super slow. And it's after the holidays. It's always like that in the month of January. But we'll have to wait till about tag season. And then once some of these releases start to happen, and then shoes will start to move here and there, you know? Honestly, like, if you, if you guys know, like, I don't really make crazy riches off of reselling. Like, you know, I make a couple dollars here and there. It's not, like, crazy profits, you know? Like, I kind of mainly do it for, like, you know, for a little change here and there. I don't do anything crazy. But we have to wait and see how it's happening, man. I, I truly think that the dunk, the days of the dunk lows are coming to the end very, very soon, in my opinion. I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think about it. Will the Panda Dunks ever start to sit on shelves and... Uh, you know, go for nothing. Will they finally break out? Well, I mean, we're getting close. It's getting close. I mean, what, they retail at 210, probably 120. I think the small sizes are still at like 150, 160. Hey, we have to wait and see how it happens, man. But, but anyway, guys, I will see you guys in New York for the God Soul event coming up this weekend. And then coming up for God Souls is going to be Chicago. Their first time God Souls coming to Chicago. I cannot wait. Definitely going to have a good time out there, man. So make sure you guys come through to God Souls in New York. Can't wait to come back, man. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jumper Chris on IG, Sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Hey guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumper Chris. Peace.